All right, welcome to the first unranked to GM in Overwatch 2 for me. Oh no, I, I did one best and only now remember. That one was tough. We're going to try and go from unranked to GM 1 in one sitting chat. Damage only. I don't think it's been done before. I think GM has definitely been done before, but I don't know about GM 1. I think it might take 14 to 15 hours. Who do we play? You guys, I, I might have to abuse Sojourn because it's what's going to make this go the fastest. Okay. And she's nerfed, so you can't say she's too OP. Also, Tracer. I could also be playing Tracer here, because there's a lot of flank routes. But there's a lot of high ground on this map, which is why you want to play... Uh, um, as much long range as possible. So her E no longer slows as well. So... Gotta be wary of that. So, the torque bird is covering the flank right now. Fuck my thigh here. <clears throat> Alright. So, it looks like we're gonna lose the first game of the day, guys. We're losing in unranked. All right, we got to heals now. All right, we need to kill the turret and then I can go in. This ends now. Oh my God, that's actually huge. So, so he never died. So going for headshots with Sojourn now is not really worth it. Uh, Cause you can't one shot people anymore. So it's way more worth it to Go for body shots, and then once you see they're low enough, you can then finish them off with a uh, the right click. This one, my uh, I'm never gonna shoot him. I like it. They're Torbus Murphy guys. Okay, this is not fair. Huh, maybe Tracer's the pig. <clears throat> maybe they were right about Sojourn, that Sojourn is not good in low ranks. Uh, so we need our Sin to break the turret right now. Oh, I thought he was going to leave the Discord on him. got a lot easier when i went tracer maybe maybe tracer is better in low rank because you can uh you can you have a way easier time cutting off their supports no i messed up we need some long range to kill the turret the turret is going to be doing a lot of consistent damage to us. Uh, Genji killed it. Diva is tanking that right, right now. I can kill the turret now. So Anna got a buff, so if you get shot by her twice, you're going to die now, Tracer. Am I sinking him give an orb here? Nice. I think he left me. Okay, so we forgot about something very important. Alright, it's, it's okay. I'll get it.
All right, Genji's having a little bit of a bit of a rough time right now. So the sleeps are still in, in his eyes, blocking his uh, his line of sight right now, his point of view. So uh, we gotta gotta work with what we've got here. Okay, one for one right now. Oh, my team's dying. All right. Oh, we got a mercy now. Okay, so now I can, now I can go soldier. Uh, so we need to go over here because it's gonna be coming over here. So if my mercy just sticks with me, I might actually be able to carry this game. Um, but we'll see if she uh, she's going to. Let me, let me let me let me shoot at her so she can like them she can damage with me and uh, not my my diva. That's a good pick on there, Kiriko. So now we should be able to get the lead. So that at least gives us a little bit more playing room here, which is nice. Uh, I need to get high ground. <clears throat> so I don't have to stay in that that molten load in order to get value from high ground. Or just value in general. So with the Mercy Pocket, it's a, and that's one of the reasons for why Mercy is meta right now is because Mercy Pocket at hit scans is very, very strong. Right, here we go, second game. Juice up again. All right, so right now I'm going left. If I was Tracer, I would have gone right side. But I'm going left just to get a little bit of poke damage onto these uh, guys uh, before they get close. Because I am Soldier. And the only way they'll get there faster than me is if they have a Lucio. Uh, and I'll know they have a Lucio because they'll be there faster. So I, I've, I won't be able to... Uh, I'll be able to back off and not take that aggressive of a position. So right now I'm just staying behind. Letting my tank uh, do the tanking right now. And they're uh, focusing squishies any anytime they come into line of sight, but also just shooting the tank whenever there's downtime and there's no squishies picking me. So this guy's are flanking right now because I heard him. But yeah, with Tracer, you want to go right side because you want to do the flanking. And especially if they also have a Tracer, you want to contest them on the right side. But most other characters would want to go left side. Maybe a Sen could also go left side or right side, I mean, but. So hook the Rift off the map. That's a good hook. So I wasn't focused on the right side, so oh. Okay. <laughs> so we can see Cassidy through the glass here. He's gonna be coming here, so he'll be coming out right about never mind. Stop. Yeah, you can see if people are playing. So now I can also see he's going back. I can't ping him though, so my mercy's dead. Because you cannot ping through glass. So you can see them. I just want to fall back because I don't want to get close to Roadhog. I want to stay out of line of sight from Roadhog's hook. Is it possible to stay out of line of sight uh, of his hook all the time? But you at least want to try and do it as much as possible. So right now I saw my Kiriko ulting. So what I want to do is I want to go close to... Uh, uh, I want to get close to that ult and uh, use my visor because Kiriko visor is very strong. Oh, there we go. Good tips, but how do I not miss any shots ever like you? Well, I miss shots, but you know, practice, practice do make perfect. And I've spent a lot of hours in Overwatch. Too many, some would say. Uh, so right now, the enemy team came back really late. Um, or came really late. I don't know why it took him so long to get here. Um, so... What you want to do is you want to take, try and take aggressive angles as much as possible. 
because if you keep them in that room and don't let them come out um it's gonna be really hard for them to come out and peek you but yeah if you can get there faster than the enemy team it's really big because it's way easier to spam like this door pretty much than it is to spam here and out there so if you can get like way more positioning out in the open when they have to uh, stay inside a small room it's, it's, it's gonna benefit you a lot so that's why some teams use symmetric TP. So they just metro TP here to get here faster or they lose your speed boost out of spawn and then they swap back to like a support that doesn't speed boost. Um, you see that a lot in high rank because it's very important to come here faster than they do. Um, so right now I'm just high ground behind them. Um, taking positioning on them, especially since they have very close range DPS characters. So they don't really have any long range damage that can get to me. So I'm pretty much free up here. Um, that's another thing is when, when playing DPS is that I've been doing this for years. most Who of the time I wouldn't say that there's one uh, pick that you have to pick all the time it's Hello. very depending on what the enemy team is playing um, right now long range is very strong or even um, Junkrat right now against their comp because they have a very slow comp oh no I'm dead Oh my god, that may hit me from uh, from the middle. Almost got me. Um, so I'm pretty much free to do whatever I want up here, while they have to walk to like to me pretty much, right? So maybe we'll probably go up now, and I can kill her. Almost. So. In this scenario, if you're the Reaper, what you most likely want to do is you want to go up there or start from Kitchen. Uh, this right here is Kitchen. Start here and then TP onto high ground close to me. <clears throat> That's probably the only way he's going to be able to viably close the gap on me. Um, he won't be able to close the gap very well if he, um, if he just walks to me. But if they, for example, had a, um, a Doomfist... Staying high ground wouldn't necessarily be that much better than staying on low ground. Or at least what you want to do is you want to position yourself so you can get to low ground fast. And right now, I'm positioning myself like far onto their side. So if they right now, they are very immobile characters. So I'm going to stand here. But if they had a Doomfist, I want to be standing back here as an example. So if Doomfist jumps on me, I can easily just drop down. And there's going to be a level difference that's going to throw him off. Um... Because if he's charging up a right click, he's going to have to slow walk to like the edge to fall down and try and kill me. And um, and if they had um, if they had dive characters, I would have also positioned myself in a position where I could um, escape much easier. Now entering mid -town. Now I'm going to... Oh, they have a Widow. I think Widow's still here. No, she grappled out. Right now, I need to go get left side here. Let's see if my mercy wants to follow me. It does. So I can kill the mercy. Now I have to put down healing station. I have to watch out to, uh, for anti. So, playing really aggressive because the Warthog players usually don't expect you to play aggressive. I missed the kill there. Yeah, okay, so I, should, I shouldn't be up there, uh, especially not against the Roadhog. I want to go far left here. Not far left, but, but left side, because now I've, uh, I'm pretty far away from their Roadhog. And I can still get positioned behind the fire truck over here. So watch out for Hook. But he doesn't have Hook now, so I don't have to worry about that for, uh, what is it, six seconds, seven seconds? What is main, so. Um, so the best way to win this right now would be... Probably since we have a Mercy and they have a Widow, it's probably go Sojourn because Sojourn is is a pretty good counter to Widow. Um, so it's only me and Kiriko right now. So I saw Mercy wanted to go for the rest, which is why I wanted to play aggressive there. I have no idea where the Widow is right now. So she's high ground now. So she's dead. So watch out for hook. The soldier's coming over here on the left side, I think. No, it's not. So they rest widow, so I have to 
I'm going kill her, but I missed my jump. Okay, so I don't know where Widow is right now. And Soldier's damage boosted, so I don't really want to peek right now. Now it's damage boosted, so, or the nano is over. I can go in. So Widow's left side, so I'm trying not to peek her because she's pretty good. She's right side now because I heard the grapple. So just try and not peek Widow as much as possible because their Widow is quite good. Just gonna try and go for a hook. So their Mercy wants to rest that, I know it. Uh, so I've jumped again in two so I can go on the soldier. The widow's also up here, so I have to watch out for that. Don't know where their hog is, so I have to be cautious about where I'm going. Oh, so their hog swapped through uh, Doomfist. They don't have mercy anymore, so I don't have to play aggressive to try and stop the rest. I can fall back now. The widow's over here. We can rest and they can't, so we're going to be up one now. I missed my right click. Their end is in a little bit of a weird spot right now. Uh, but I still want to get high ground. So, bring his top HP. That's a big perk. So, this one is one now. We didn't need that recall, but that's fine. We're going to at least go over here as fast as possible instead of going over there as fast as possible. So he went to Soldier instead of Widow now. Reaper above us. So I can go up and duel him actually. Okay, he dropped down. Did he hook off? That's a huge choke, actually. So I'm gonna get high ground here. So it's, so it's harder for me to uh, to die, and I'm gonna I'm gonna have a better line of sight without having to play overly aggressive. Oh no, mercy! That's not it. We might have been able to win that if Mercy <clears throat> just damage boosted. That was a that was a crazy rest though. And no widow. So Mercy wanna go for a rest here. So played a little bit more aggressive because I knew we were up one and they their mercy wanted to uh go for a crazy rest. Oh, I'm dead here. What? That was a huge end time. So we have to play safe now. That's a bubble. Now I'm going behind him. Still staying high ground. And Winston can't kill me as long as I'm in my uh, my uh, biotic field, so you don't have to worry about him jumping you. So the only reason for why I'm taking this position right here is because it's um, I feel like I'm I can get picks easily, and I don't think the team knows that they can just rush under and go to point, and they'll be uh, they'll have an advantage on us at that point. So they kind of like to take fights here, but most of the time I wouldn't want to take fights here. I most likely want to stay away from you. So getting one pick is fine. Uh, with your ult, you don't necessarily have to team wipe them because they're not going to engage when they're down one. Uh, if they did, it wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be wise. 
uh, but it seems like they're they're doing it. Um. Yeah, it seems like they're they're still doing it though. So they're back on Widow now, so I have to go over and pressure her. She's probably the main threat. Okay, so they're off Widow again. Yeah, they're gonna play it, right? Okay, so my soldier is popping off right now. So I'm gonna take a a uh, a position far away because I want to vice for the blade. Uh, I don't know if they have nano. I, I don't know if the nano sound was us using nano or them using nano, but all I want to do is stay far, like, far away right now because they're going to go for my Anna if they can't see me and I can just vice to the blade. Okay, well, now my soldier is up here, so they know I'm here. They know someone is up here. Okay. Oh, I need healing. Anna. Okay. All right. Well, still won it. This is actually a good, a good hit scan map. Um, so I might have to play Tracer here. The Doomfish, Moira. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Oh my god. I behind the cart. That is a lone bottom here. There should be a free kill, especially since she wasted her nade. Watch out. Yeah. Gotta watch out for the widow. Peeking the widow, especially since uh especially if she has high ground, you don't. You don't really have a uh, a way of engaging onto her. She's dead right now. I can peek a bit more aggressive. Mario doesn't have an orb now, so now would be a perfect time to be engaged on her, but I don't have recall either. Alright, so I'm gonna go left side because I wanna uh, go on their uh, back line. And they're off Widow now, so I can take more aggressive um, flanks like this. Without having to worry about getting one shot. That's actually a really good moral. He's focusing the backline with me, so I have a way easier time killing their backline. Yeah, that's well played by my memories, uh, by my Mora. We only used one ult for that win as well. All right, I want to take another flank here, but it's either going to be far right or left. But since they are already close to us, high ground, I'm thinking left would be closer, uh, would be better, because I can close the distance much easier, and they can't, they won't see me walking up so we're waiting for our roadhog right now so engaging right now wouldn't be wise because we're down a tank which is very important where is she assassinated him right in front of his healers heals batman okay so now i can take a flank on the right side so uh, they don't see me, right? Nope, they don't. But I see their Hanzo. I see my target.
So, are we dead? No, we're still alive, but we're falling back a little bit here. I think they were scared of the Moira ult. So I can pull spawn the Hawk here, even though we don't need it, but just doing it to get uh, the fight over as fast as possible. Okay, so we're all alive right now. So I can take a bit of an aggressive position now. Oh no, he deflected it. We can just still left side, but I'm gonna go for the Mario because I saw the Mario's low HP. She has no fate now, so she should be free here. That's also a good hope. So the Reaper's gonna keep on fighting here. Gotta watch out for that. See, chat, we're playing against a top 500 player. Look. He's top 500. So I want to go Sojourn here because there's a lot of high ground and low ground uh, changes. So, for example, the gas station that they can stand on. And I can get high ground uh, over here. Up there to the left with Sojourn. So since there's a lot of high ground, low ground, uh, low ground um, changes on this map i feel like soldier would be better because i can easily swap between those two instead of going soldier where i would have to like run from one side to the other so oh no i missed my okay i still got him Oh, I got boo. Also, another thing, after they changed Sojourn's E so it no longer slows, it seems like people notice as much less that they are in um, in it. So, like, you can actually, like, sometimes you actually deal more damage because they have no idea that they're in it. Maybe we didn't need that, but that's fine. So getting high ground, as much high ground as possible. Especially since this place have a line of sight of all the exits that they have. Um, and it's really easy for me to go down from high ground to low ground to safety. So we have Widow and Soldier now. I would have shooting me right now, but I have no idea where she is. I'm so low. But it seems like they might be pushing now that they're that they got a pick. But he has ult, so I don't want to go close to the edge because if I go close to the edge, it's gonna boot me off. And again, the reason why I knew Winston had ult is because uh, one, you can look at their stats. So every ult requires a certain amount of ult points and ult points is the same for damage and healing. So let's say Winston needs like 3,000 ult points. Well, I think it's like 2,000 something. Let's just say 2,400 and he has 1,700 damage. Uh, he also passively generates a certain amount. Um, so again, most of the time, with everything, it's like if they if they haven't used ult, that was nice. If they haven't used ult in like three and a half minutes or three minutes most of the time, depending on how much you've been fighting, they will have ult, right? So you want to play around that. If you play around the enemy's ult really well, it's, it can really counter their ult. So 
for example, if you know Sari has a grab, you don't want to stack up, right? If you know Winston has ult, you don't want to stay close to the ledge. Um, Behind us, okay. No one can hide. Enemy here. They went Rohawk now. I, that was actually a really good grab. I don't know why the Ash would walk into it, but. I feel like we're using Nanos a lot after the fight has been won. I don't know. Try and hook me. So most of the time you you can predict. Uh, most of the time you can predict who the roadhog is gonna hook by his movement and where he's looking. Right. So if if he's walking straight towards you and looking at you, probably gonna try and hook you. We did lose one, but we might be able to rest. Uh, behind us. It really was the honor of a lifetime. Stay put. They don't have any bubbles right now, but I can't play aggressive. So we got to watch out for the Ash flanking again. She's already gotten a kill by doing that. She might actually do it right now. Come on. I think people is also a good thing. Uh... So using the ping system can actually help your teammates a lot as well. Especially one thing that I feel like maybe not a lot of people know about. If you die to someone and you and you press the ping button, you will ping the person that killed you, whether they're behind a wall or they're six they're six feet under, wherever they are. If you die to them, they will be pinged. If you just click the ping uh, the ping button. Uh, so every time you die, make it a habit to press the ping button because it doesn't really require a lot of extra effort from you and you're dead anyway so it's not like you're gonna be uh you can too focus on killing people no oh, i missed my Yeah, so every time you die to someone, just just press the ping button. It'll, it'll help out your team. God, I can hit him. Who's your top 500 player? It's their 4 and 11 Ash. But he is top 500, guys. What is a good scenario to use uh, Soldier Nolt? Uh, if you see someone who's low. 
Uh, or if you get a pick. Because oh. the pick can can pretty much secure a fight. Uh, like once you get a pick and then you like soldier and all, it's pretty much a secure fight. GG guys. Nice one. GG. I really hope diamond. Or no, I hope masters, but I'm expecting diamond. It's gonna be a long day. It's gonna be a long day, guys.